don't you know who this is? She was thinking of something more special. I'm downright flashy, you know. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Billy Holiday. If you want to understand why Australia and the world have a war on drugs, you've got to understand a story that happened right at the start of the drug war. The story of how Billie Holiday, the great jazz singer, was stalked and effectively killed by the man who launched the war on drugs, a man named Harry Anslinger. This holiday woman's causing a lot of people to think the wrong things. It's a starting gun for this so-called civil rights movement. Those lyrics provoke people. Y'all got a plan? She's a drug addict. Exactly. My name is Johan Hari. I'm the author of the book Chasing the Scream, the first and last days of the war on drugs that was made into the movie The United States versus Billie Holiday that I was executive producer on. And I'm very excited that I'm going to be talking to the Australian screening by video link after the showing. And I'm going to be talking about how it applies directly to you in Australia. Everything you think you know about the war on drugs is wrong. You've been told this is an attempt to protect people from addiction, to protect children. It was never anything of the sort. The war on drugs always had a very different set of motives, one that this film lays bare. You gotta understand, baby, right now I'm in a situation. Would you say we could beat this, Billy? I need some now. Blood on the leaves. You're like a hammer. Come right back and it hit harder than before. He's singing it for all of us. Ain't no other Negro star bold enough to do it. Billie Holiday wasn't just one of the great musical geniuses of our time. She was an unbelievably brave political fighter. She fired what one writer called the musical starting gun for the civil rights movement. Black body swinging. I'm being followed. I'm not going to count in no fears. In the southern breeze. She's made something of herself and you can't take it because she's strong, beautiful and black. When you impose brutal forms of disconnection on people with addiction problems, which is what they did to Billie Holiday, which is what happens in Australia every day where people are arrested and given criminal records and punished for having addiction problems. You don't, not only do you not solve the problem, you make it worse. You make addiction worse. You kill people. At some point, we had to listen to what Billie Holiday was trying to tell us, that there is an alternative to the war on drugs and it's to have policies based on love and compassion. Strange fruit hanging from the poplar trees. You think I'm gonna stop singing that song? Your grandkids will be singing strange fruit.